Hi guys, this is exercise number 13 from our Coral Draw training course series. In this exercise, we are going to learn about gradient and transparency tool. As you can see that I have here a small project for you. There is a balloon and we have a gradient fill with the transparency. Let's do it. I am going to move this object to the side. Okay. First of all, we need to create this shape. Okay. We need to make a balloon simple. That is ellipse tool we are going to use. Click and drag to draw a small circle shape. Since we need to modify, we need to edit this. So we need to convert into curve. Go to object, convert to curve. And after that, you need to click on the shape tool to modify. From this point, I am going to pull it down this way. And from the directional handles, I will little bit resize from the down. But once I resize, you can see that here it has become straight. So we need to apply roundness here. Pull this directional handle down little bit. Okay, that is enough. And from this side as well. Okay, now from the up, it is a little bit flat. So we will bring it up as well. Now we need to create the lower part. Okay, so we will draw another circle oval shape. Okay, and uh, go to the object, convert to curve and use shape tool. Just modify this way a little bit. That's all. Now we need to place this here at the bottom. Okay, we can reduce a little bit size. Okay, so that is fine. Here we have two objects. We are going to fill this object with gradient. So select it. And you can see in our toolbox, we don't have directly interactive tool. Here we have small plus. Under this, we have double headed arrow. You can see at the bottom. Click on this double headed arrow so you will see the additional tool. We have three tools here interactive tool, and we have a smart fill tool, and we have a pen tool. So we need to use this interactive fill tool. Click it, and you can see here we have our property for the interactive tool in our property bar. You need to click on the second one. The first one is solid color, second one is gradient. Click it. Once you will click, it uh, might not be activated. So again, click. Okay. Once you click again, you can see that the default gradient black and white is in our object and it is taking the first option that is linear. The linear fill is there. We need for our balloon radial. The second option from here, okay, we are going to choose. So here we have gradient. But as you can see now, this is in oval shape because it is following our object. The color is expanded with the object size. So we need the round radial. So what we can do from this point, we can make it round this way. You can see that as much we want, we can expand from this to expand the transparency this way. We don't need to do much. Okay, now we have two color, white and black. So how to change that two color? From here you can expand this from this button and from this you can change the location of your gradient and from here you can make it oval or you, if you want you can make it uh, round. So here we will change the color. If I will click on this white here, you can see that in this white square I can change it here or I can click here and apply my desired color. Since we need white here, so I will leave it as it is. And this is black. I want to apply orange color here. So what I will do, I will click on this black. I can even change it here. Click here and go to orange. Okay, that color is fine. Orange we need. So click outside. And here we can fill orange color, solid orange color. We can take it from here with the eyedropper. You can see I have here eyedropper tool. Click on color eyedropper tool and simply click on this color, bring it inside this object. You can see that when I will bring to the line, the border is there. When I bring inside, the fill sign is there. So once the fill sign is there, I will click. So the color has been filled. Pick tool and we are going to remove outline. So right click on this X. So we don't have outline anymore. So we have two objects here. Let's copy. Select both of them and press plus key. We have uh, another copy and we can change the direction. We can change by using rotate. Okay, second one I can keep it here and I can make another copy. So here, once again, I can rotate a little bit this way. We have another balloon here, so press plus key, make it straight and we can send it back. 
okay so one more and rotate it we can even move the rotate point in this side I can bring this up front of the page now we are going to change the color so here now it's easy to fill color we can click on this object okay and uh, you need to go to the interactive tool and now the color is there simply I need to change this color here to another color let's say green okay that is okay and click outside and you can see that this balloon is green now select this one here we have color you need to if it is coming across like this you can click on this this color here and you can change here or there it's the same thing now we are going to make it purple click outside in your page select the next and uh, first select color here this orange and click here and apply some blue okay that is fine click outside click the next select the color here and fill it with the pink okay that is fine now uh, we need to change this here this part this is okay so here we will click on eyedropper simply click on eyedropper and click inside the object that you want to fill again you need to go back because uh, eyedropper is filled with this loaded with this color so we need to again select back load this color and fill in this object once again we'll go back and fill in this object the last one is the pink shade we have so click it and click inside we fill this way color here we have string you can see that there is a thread so this we can create with the free hand tool we have your free hand tool you can see that free hand tool we can use with two way okay there is a two method if you will click on free hand tool and click and hold the mouse and drag this way you can draw a line but there is another way i will delete this click on free hand tool click and then release the mouse and wherever you want to bring the line once you will click again the line will be created accordingly if i want straight line i can press control key with any angle i want i can draw a straight line this way we will click here click and simply click this way so we created one line if i want i can even change the here line size here make it 0.5 okay so the next from here but make sure that you are not going to click on this point here okay if you will click on this point now this line and the new line will become one object so you cannot apply two color so since we need to apply different color in our thread here so don't exactly click on that point just uh, click close to that somewhere this way again click here click try to avoid to click exactly on that end point of the other line okay one more from here okay so here we have line okay so select these lines press uh, shift key so we can add selection I'm trying to change little bit the size okay here we can apply 0.5 now if we want we can apply the color eyedropper we can use if we want to apply same color like this okay green this green I want the next here we have uh, purple blue this one this balloon we need to make it red so we can change the gradient first interactive tool and here we can apply red so go to the eyedropper choose this color and fill in this and then in this object actually we can fill the solid color directly we can fill from here also you might be thinking that there is a easy way why I use the eyedropper for this 
my main objective is to match the color exactly with the balloon so we can click on pick tool and you can see that here we have a, uh, this variation with the different colors in our balloon what we need to do now we need to apply the transparency you so you can see through the other balloon it will make more realistic our project click on balloon okay and here we have a transparency tool you can see that transparency tool you need to click it and from here the second one you can see that this is no transparency and there is a uniform transparency uniform transparency mean the whole object will get the same transparency tint we need to click it and you can see that our object is transparent and here you can increase and reduce you can control it see I will bring it back maybe I will apply just 10 that is enough and click outside so we can select the second object here 10 okay so you can see a little bit uh, through the other object third one change the amount here from 10 blue click on uniform transparency and I will make it 10 for red and now the last one is this uh, pink can make it 10 actually I apply one by one but if you want you can select all object together and you can apply at once the transparency now we can select all object and object and group so that's all guys that's about the gradient and transparency tool this is the basic i hope you enjoy this lesson and try to practice guys if you like my video please subscribe my channel and click on the bell button so you will always get notification once i will upload new video thank you